Yo! What is up? What's happening? What's the high of the sky? What's down the ground? What's up? What up? <laughs> Hi guys. How's it been? It's been a minute, as you know. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Again. <laughs> it's been so long. Has it not, Dodo? Dio, Dio, has it not? Yo, yo, I, 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 oh, 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 too cool for school. Anyway, <laughs> usually when I'm back, I usually do like a recap of like things and like this, 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 because it's been so long as usual. Yeah, but now I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing a recap. Yeah, I'm not. If you ever want to recap, just go watch a previous episode. It'll recap. There's not that many, trust me. <laughs> I'm just gonna jump. Straight into it, we're gonna dive, we're gonna swim. We're continuing, we're continue, we're continue, continuing. Suzy, English is a problem to my society. We're continuing uh, the formula to self love. And if you don't remember the formula, because it's been so long, it is self awareness plus self acceptance equals self love, which leads to change. Yo, that's the self awareness formula. Self, self love formula. Sorry, it's a self love formula um, that I use that really helps me. And yeah, we're jumping into the self acceptance part because we did self awareness a few years back um, we did self awareness now we're going into self-acceptance this video is the what of self-acceptance like what is self-acceptance and then i'm gonna explain like why and how in the other episodes so yeah what is self-acceptance basically um and i couldn't really like explain that to y'all <laughs> like if somebody said like do you accept I'm like yeah i just you know in my head i already know i'm like yeah 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 so i can't explain it to you because I just didn't know how to explain it to you. But I need to, I need words because it's YouTube. So I went to a Google, Google different, and um, the Google dictionary, like the Google dictionary didn't really have a definition of self-acceptance, self -acceptance, but people did, like, you know, websites. And um, surprisingly, when I went into each website, each of them had the same thing of what they would explain self-acceptance as. And I would agree with what they said. They said like, self-acceptance is accepting you. <laughs> No. <laughs> yeah, but it's accepting not only your positive traits, but your negative traits. It's accepting every single part of who you are unconditionally. And I truly, truly, truly agree <laughs> as to that is what acceptance, self-acceptance is. But then you would ask like, okay, what do I accept? Get it? What? Because it's the what video. Anyway, what do I accept? And um, before I even jump into what do you accept, you first have to like get to know yourself before accepting. You know, you can't accept what you don't know, you know. So that's why self-awareness plus self-acceptance gets get the formula, A. Eh? So first you have to get to know what you want to accept. And if you watch the self-acceptance video, I'm just gonna recap a little, just a little bit, just a tiny bit. Self-acceptance is asking, ask, asking yourself who you are, like getting to know yourself. But we realize that it's kind of, it's a little bit dangerous to kind of ask yourself because we have a narrow perspective of who we are because we can only see through our own eyes so we don't really have a clear view of ourselves sometimes it's a little bit negatively skewed just to be honest most of the time so so it's kind of like not really accurate to ask ourselves who we are because we don't really have a clear view of ourselves um but god does because also he created us so like the creator of you knows you better than you know yourself the, that whole manufacturer's a robot the manufacturer creates a robot who do you think knows the robot more the manufacturer or the robot the, the manufacturer because he created the robot same thing you get it just so like obviously so instead of trying to figure ourselves out we ask the person who's already figured us out the big g so that's what self-awareness again there's a whole lot more in that please go watch the self-awareness episode but yeah so first you have to get to know yourself or ask God who you are and then accept the things that he says you are the negatives the positives your physical traits your personality traits your your what you did in the past what you're gonna do your mental traits is mental traits a thing anyway I'm gonna make it a thing <laughs> mental traits your um, emotional traits that's a thing too your, <laughs> your emotional states kind of like your emotional state accepting everything literally everything unconditionally there's no pick and choose everything <laughs> and like for example um in my physical traits i have to accept that i'm black i have to accept that i am female i have to accept that i have an average height of 169 i'm gonna say 169 even though some a hey, every time i measure it changes okay sometimes it says 167 sometimes it says 169 okay i like it's like the measuring we use the measuring i don't, I don't have the correct one if i ever go to like a proper 
measuring place and they measure me with that Shundies, bro, you know that Shundies? Then I will take whatever that is there because that is accurate. But I've been measuring with this thing and you know people are different. So they measure differently. So I've got 167 and I've got 169. I'm going to go with 169. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm going to accept that I am. I can ex I'm accept the possibility that I am 167. I'm going to go. I'm going to tell people I'm 169. Okay? So I'm average. <laughs> I'm average height. Um, above average for people? Average? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm one six nine. Anyway, uh, I accept that. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I have to save my physical. But even in my physical traits, I have negatives and I have positives. Cause like my positives would be like I love my eyes. I'm born with big eyes. I love my eyes. I love my smile. I love my beauty marks. I have a lot of beauty marks. I have. I love my dimples. You understand? Know but there's certain things that are negative physical traits that I don't like about myself. Like I don't like my. Uh, I didn't. I'm starting to try to, <laughs> but my lips, I just, I've never really liked my lips, um, weirdly enough, I don't know why, don't, don't ask me why, um, but yeah, not to say that I never liked it, now my ears have like a different, this one's like flat, and I think this one's like a little bit like, woo woo, you just said, so like, um, I've never really, I've noticed it, sometimes I don't like it, sometimes I'm like, eh, you understand, so like, that would say, but like, there's certain physical traits that I also have to accept about myself, there's also, there's life marks that I have to accept myself, what I mean by life marks is, um, things that came with life, <laughs> so like, my skin is my skin, but there's certain scars that came with life, it's not like I was born with scars, but they came with me experiencing life, you know, so I have to accept that, and personally, I just love scars, so I, I, that's my positive positive thing for me is I absolutely love scars like because they tell a story I love how if everybody asks me when they see the scar dude what happened here and then I just tell a story and I love making people laugh and a lot of them make people laugh because this one I got by doing the worm I did it though I did it hey <laughs> but you know the floor is in the way so so yeah so yeah so like I love to also have a scar here on my lip I don't know why but I love that scar weird enough I don't like my lips but I love the scar weirdly I'm getting to like my lips getting there anyway so um so yeah so so a negative thing about life marks things that came with life would be like these white marks in my eyes yellow not white yellow yellow marks in my eyes um it's like a white like it's like a yellow ish on like the arrows on my eyes and it came because i was binging shows <laughs> um because i was binge shows to like 4 a.m then wake up early and then and watch shows. you understand so it, it's 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 a thing that came with the consequences of what I was doing so what did I think I was gonna be something and nothing was gonna happen but I don't like it because my eyes are big so it's kind of noticeable but I have to accept it, have to accept it. Do you get me and that, but something that I'm neutral about that came with like like a life mark is like stretch marks like I'm not like stretch marks I'm not like woo just stretch marks I'm like they're there I got stretch marks okay. <laughs> like I'm not I'm neutral I'm super neutral about them you know so there's certain things that you will have positive things about negative things about it neutral things about it but you gotta accept it yourself ask yourself what for you is easy for you to accept about you and what's difficult for you to accept about you because there's some easy stuff and there's some difficult, difficult stuff whether it's in physical traits personality and in 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 like mental state emotional state what you've done what you said like for me what's easy for me to accept is um it's easy for me to accept myself a little bit more because of how I grew up. I grew up in around a very accepting family. Um, not to say that they won't point out your negative traits, bruh. <laughs> I have this toe, right? Let me tell you. I have this toe and it kind of like sticks. Can y'all see? Can y'all see? Kind of like sticks out. Like if I'm making it flat, you'll see that it like it pops up and it's kind of like the same size as like my pinky toe. <laughs> and I absolutely love this toe. When I tell you my whole life, because I grew up around like cousins that are like my brothers, a lot of guy cousins, and they will tease you, you know. They've been teasing me about my toe. Been, been, bro. They're like, Susie, your toe. I've learned to accept it and I've learned to own it. That's how much, literally, growing up from my family, you will gain confidence in your negative traits. Rick Susie, you have such a big forehead. Leave my big forehead alone, bro. I used to, there used to be a photo like um, here um, when I was, I think it was like a great. In my house and you guys don't know where here is it's in my house <laughs> on the wall and um and it used to be a grade one photo and they used to come and they used to be like suzy bruh dude you look like barack obama yes yeah that's what was my grade one photo oh uh, these guys are not serious so i grew up around uh, yeah guys who very much tv <laughs> and i just gained confidence in it so i think 
they tease you but they also accept you so like i've never shunned away from my flaws like the society will say my toe is a flaw but i absolutely love my toe now i love it now i'm like bruh it's blessing you dog leave my toe alone <laughs> you understand my beautiful forehead bruh fuck it anyway so i absolutely so that's why it's easy for me to accept um I like these these traits you know but there's things that are difficult for me to accept like um my personality um i'm very bubbly okay no that's good to accept i'm very i'm a very bubbly person i'm a very optimistic very bright person people say i would also say um but um negative like thing about me that comes with that is like, like i'm a people pleaser so like because i'm a people pleaser i kind of put other people first sometimes to my own detriment and that's that's not self-love at all <laughs> come on now and sometimes it's so bad that i even put other people in front of god and that is definitely 1000 percent not okay do you understand what i'm saying it's not okay definitely 100 percent. so like that's a negative i mean it's so bad that even coming to youtube was hard for me because like i know first of all already being a christian you're already gonna have people that don't like you regardless <laughs> so that's something that is works against my my people pleasing second being on youtube people will judge you and the comment section is, is always intense man i always read the comments i'm like damn people are mean <laughs> you know so obviously putting myself out there already is just terrifying so um yeah so it's something that literally i wouldn't have done this if god didn't call me to do this i promise you <laughs> so the god is making it ripping he's ripping the people pleasing thing off so it's a negative trait that i have personality trait that is difficult for me to like difficult for me to accept yeah um but i have to accept it do you get me i just have to I have to accept that yeah man but again it's not it won't be easy it's not easy trust like it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy to accept the negative qualities of yourself and it's different for everybody because like there's different things that people find difficult to accept positive like you you might find like like my toe like for example my toe like other people if they have the same toe it would have been a struggle for them to maybe accept themselves maybe because of the, how you grew up and the family that you and me it was just different because of how i grew up you know what i'm saying but you know so there's different things that'll be difficult for you to accept you just because we're different people obviously so obviously you have different things than me and for you it might be things that you've done in the past or things that you said in the past and just so you know like what you've said or the mistakes that you've done or what you've done doesn't define you like what you did doesn't define you like god defines you the mistakes don't define you and um i feel like you should go watch self-awareness versus identity another video that i did um but if you put your identity in god god will tell you who you are not all the things you've done or said or who you think you are you know what i mean or what society deems you are god defines you god knows who you are <laughs> he's got your id anyway but also realize like it might be different for like ages because i'm in my early 20s i'm like 24 my brother's 30 how old are you we're nine years apart how old are you bro i'm asking he's not even here i'm, I'm trying to how old is my brother he's 30 something okay but my, we're nine years apart right and um he was watching my video because um helped me with feedback a lot he watched my video and he's like he was like it's crazy because now i have to go back to find out what i haven't accepted in my life because there might be stuff that i've just ran past that i haven't accepted because i've just been living life you know what i mean like what i've said what i've done to myself to other people and um the characteristics that i have and now like i have to go back to see what those things are and yeah like for my seasoned saints like ask yourself like what what have you done in the past or that you haven't really accepted yet you know that you've just ran over because it's just life and i just wanted to say accepting does not mean you have to like it you get me a lot of people think accepting means you gotta like no 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 accepting i have to accept that i'm a people pleaser i don't like it i don't like that i am one trust me i don't like there's a lot of things that god also accepts god accepts you god accepts you period but there's a lot of things that he doesn't like about me i don't know about y'all but for me i know there's a lot of things. people pleaser first of all like the fact that i put other people in front of him he probably definitely what doesn't say does not like it hello <laughs> put your lord god first first moment do you understand what i'm saying so obviously he doesn't like the trait that i have but he accepts me as i am do you get me there's a difference like when you like the woman in the like the woman caught in adultery that story 
when the Pharisees came and then they put a woman in front of Jesus and they were like, she was caught in adultery, Jesus. Moses' law says to stone her. What do you say? They'll try to trap Jesus by using a woman. So but anyway, what did Jesus say? Jesus wrote on the on the ground, then he came up, and then he said, I wonder what he wrote on the ground, first of all. I really wonder what he wrote on the ground. Anyway, but then he said to the to the to the Pharisees, like, okay, alright. But let the first person throw the stone that's never committed a sin. And everybody left. <laughs> Cause all of them are sinners, bro. <laughs> all of us are sinners. So like nobody could throw the first stone because nobody was not a sinner. Everybody was a sinner, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So Jesus was the only one left there because he was actually a person who's never committed to sin. And um, he literally was like, to the woman, go and don't sin no more. You understand what I'm saying? Like, he didn't condemn her. He didn't stone her like they wanted to because he was Jesus. He showed compassion. And he accepted her. Because that's the thing. Because, like, when they came to her, he didn't, he didn't deny that she didn't do it. He didn't. He didn't deny that no you didn't like commit adultery you didn't do that he accepted that she did do it but then he loved her even through it you understand what i'm saying like just that thing like while we were sinners christ died for us while you did the way you are with your negatives and your positives and if god can accept you as you are he wants to try to accept you too okay but also like in what way should we accept ourselves you know what i mean get that in what there's the what in what way should we accept ourselves because i'm asking this question because some people might take this and then aggressively arrogantly accept embrace yourself you know what i mean like you take your negative traits and you're just like yeah man this is who i am this is this is just me accept it you understand nah that's not what i'm saying i'm not saying now go live out your negative traits like that's who you are like you're proud to be no no do you get me that's not that's not how, that's not, that's not what I'm saying. Like, acknowledge you. Because some people will also take it to the degree where they don't acknowledge themselves and they don't accept yourself. But that's also bad because if you have a certain trait that's hurting other people and that's hurting you, but you don't accept it, you're going to go and you're going to hurt other people and yourself a whole lot more. If you just come and you, like, acknowledge that that's who you are, you can start to heal. Like, if I'm hurting somewhere and I don't accept that I'm hurting, I'm going to hurt myself even more and other people probably in the process. The first step to healing is to accept that you're hurt. To you me? So like, you cannot not... I keep using double negatives. You have to acknowledge it, okay? You have to acknowledge it, but don't overly exert it neither. Balance, bro. Balance, bro. You get me? Embrace it. Just, this is who I am. Okay. Yeah. Not. Nah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you are who you are. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge you, man. See you. Because God sees you. Okay, I'm done. Woo! 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 Come on! Come on, fist bump! Fist bump! Eh, eh. <laughs> Woo! I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> anyway, we're done. Huh. Well, next episode, we're going to be talking about why. Why we should accept ourselves. This was the what? 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 Meow! Meow, Lily! Meow, Lily! Meow! <laughs> bye! Y'all don't know this, but when I'm on the phone with somebody and like I say bye, I always say bye. Okay, not with my hand, but that with my voice, right? And then I didn't realize that I did that. My brother's like, dude, you know you always go high pitched when you say bye. I'm like, I do, and I realized I do. But now I'm gonna own it. And I'm gonna do it here too. <laughs> bye. This is y'all.